السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بفور وی گیٹ اسٹارٹ ود دا ای تھری سکسٹی سکس لیب کیٹ کلین یور ٹیبل اور دا ورک پینچ سینیٹائز یور ہینڈس اور ویئر پروٹیکٹو گلوز سو دس کٹ ہیز این الیکٹرانک اسٹارٹر کٹ اینڈ دا ایم پی لیب اسنیپ in circuit debugger and programmer. The electronic starter kit contains several components that will be useful for you to complete the lab activities. So for example, it has a few jumper wires. It has an LCD screen. Uh, several more jumper wires here. LEDs. Servo motor. Several capacitors. Diode switches. Push buttons. Resistors. And in this packet you find a 7 segment display, potentiometer, relay, buzzer. And you also find a 5 volt voltage regulator, IC, LM7805, and the microcontroller, PIC18F, PIC18F4 5K80 microcontroller. This microcontroller is already connected on the breadboard. Do not remove the microcontroller from the breadboard in any circumstances for the safety of the microcontroller uh, never touch the pins of the microcontroller to, to prevent any electrostatic discharge and the pins of any other electronic IC never touch them directly with your hands or the ESD can damage these ICs and we also have and we also have a battery connector a 9 volt battery so since the microcontroller works with 5 volt power supply we'll have to use the we'll have to use this lm7805 to convert the 9 volt from this battery to 5 volt DC output and we can power up the microcontroller. The schematic diagram is given in inside the MP Lab Snap uh, programmer box. So this is the MPLAB snap programmer and in circuit debugger. Once again, do not touch any of these pins or the headers of any of these ICs on the board. Always hold this uh, debugger from the sides like this. Do not do not hold it with your fingers on the top. Always hold by the side like this. Okay. So this port, the USB port, connects with the computer or the laptop and you can download the hex file, the program file using MPLabX and on this side you have several pins. Out of these pins, we will use only the 5 pins for connecting the microcontroller to program the microcontroller. The first pin is the VPP pin the programming voltage pin it also connects to the MCLR it is the same pin as the MCLR pin then we have the VDD pin the next pin is the VDD which is the power supply of the microcontroller then we have VSS the ground of the microcontroller then PGD the programming pin of the microcontroller and the PGC the programming clock of the microcontroller so only these five pins will be connected 
the data sheet of this microcontroller is available here. You will find the pin diagram of this 40 pin package. So since we are using the 40 pin dual inline package of, of this microcontroller, we will find the pin diagram given here. So this is the pin diagram that we will be using for uh, our connection. And here is the MPLAB snap user guide. And in this section, you will find the hardware connection for the MPLAB snap debugger with the pin uh, with the PIC microcontroller. So as you see here, these are the five pins that will be connected, the MCLR, VDD, ground, PGD and PGC. So pin number one is indicated with the arrow symbol here. So pin number one is connected to the MCLR pin, which is also the VPP pin in some other microcontrollers. So the pin number one of the MPLAB snap, it will be connected to pin number one of the microcontroller. The next pin is the VDD pin, the power supply pin. It should be connected here to VDD and the next pin is the ground pin which is connected here on VSS. Then we have PGD and PGC. PGD is for the programming data pin number 40 and PGC is the programming clock pin number 39. Once again the schematic diagram is all given inside this box. You can follow the schematic diagram to connect the microcontroller. and since this breadboard is very small, you can use an external breadboard. You can use another breadboard. You might have a spare breadboard from uh, the basic lab kit, the EE250-251 lab kit. So use an external breadboard to connect any other circuit or any other electronic components that you may need to use during your lab activities. So enjoy your lab and enjoy practicing with all these components and remember keep everything safe, keep everything clean, always sanitize your hands before using this lab kit or any components from, from this lab kit because this same kit will be distributed later on to other students in the next semester, in the coming semesters. You will have to return this kit back before the final exams of this course. So all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.